Hey guys, today is canvas painting day and we are painting a horse or a unicorn. You get to choose. Um, you're going to need a pencil and I'm going to be using black, white, and an accent color. I'm using gold. You can choose another color. Um, let's go have some fun. Okay, so we're going to start by making the bottom part of our horse. It's just a curved line like this. And we're going to make another line like that. Okay, and then we're going to make the face. There's going to be, in this painting, there's going to be a lot of hair that is going over the face. So you're not going to see most of this. Okay. I. This is just a rough sketch. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of hair in, in this. Um, it's going to be like blowing in this direction. So if you wanted the horn, you would add it right about here, going this way. But I'm going to make this painting a horse instead of a unicorn. Okay. All right, so now grab your big brush. And we are going to, I'm going to be using that accent color I told you about with the gold. And so for back here, I'm going to just be making almost like splashes of color. A lot of this is going to have the hair going over it later. I'm going to add some of this accent color. And then off over here. Our horse is going to be a black color, so even if you get this color on your horse, it's okay. It's going to be covered up. Okay. And while we have this color out, I'm going to switch brushes so you can put your brush in the water. And then I'm going to grab my teeny tiny brush for the eye. And I'm going to use that same accent color for my horse's eye. And you can wash that brush off too. 
So we're just going to wash both brushes and dry them off. this a little closer sorry guys apparently my video stopped recording so all you missed was I dipped my brush in the black I made this pencil line here and I fill this in and I want to work quickly here because I need this paint to stay wet and then I'm gonna just take some white and blend white right on top of it and do you see as I'm blending it it's turning a lighter, it's turning a gray color, okay? We're going to just put that right on top. And do you see the way my brush strokes are going with the shape? Just gonna add a little bit more, make it a little bit lighter on this side. Okay, so that step is done. And now I'm going to wash my brush off because I want this part to be darker. So wash your brush and then you're gonna dry it off. And then put your brush back in the black paint and you can go ahead and outline here and here and then make that line across good you can start filling this in and again instead of painting side to side I'm following the curve of my horse as I fill it in Right. I know, I'm still using my big brush. I'm going to go down here.
Go slow over here near the eye. If it's easier for you to use a smaller brush, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it back in the white again. And I didn't wash it off, it's dirty. And I'm going to add some lighter brush strokes over here. So we're just blending them in. Then I'm going to dip my brush back in the black. Okay, that little shape here, I'm going to put some white on it. And also a little bit right there. I'm going to switch to my medium brush for a minute and I'm going to put black and white on it because I want a gray color here. You can use your big brush for the ear here. Or the medium, whichever you find easier. Maybe I'll switch to the medium for that one. Okay, that's a little triangle. You could also put a black dot in the eye, but you know what? Let's use the teeny tiny brush for that too. So put a little black dot in here. There. All right, so now comes, I think, the really, really fun part. We are going to make all of the horse's hair from the tail and the head. It's all going to be blowing in this direction. So with my medium brush, I'm going to put a lot of black on my brush. I'm going to start right here 
and I'm going to drag my brush. It's, they're not straight lines. So drag my brush and the wind is picking it up. It's okay if you get a little bit of gold on it. We could just go back over it. We are going to be doing this over and over and over. So I'm going to have one that comes like that. The key to having a very thin line is to just use the tip of the brush and to barely, barely touch the canvas. So we will be, like I said, we're going to be making a lot of these. Some of them are just going to be falling off right off the page. Some of them will be going straight up and down, but not straight, they're wavy. So I'm making some of them thicker, some of them thinner. If your arm gets tired, you could shake it out, take an arm break. <laughs> because this, this painting is a lot of work. It's a lot of detail. Turn on some music if you want. Because you want to make sure you're having fun above all else. Okay, so now that we have a good amount of these, 
I'm going to, on my plate, I'm going to mix a dark gray. So I'm just going to take some white. I scooped it off to the side here. And I'm going to take a scoop of black. Let's do two scoops of black. And then I'm just going to mix it up in one place until I get this dark gray color. Okay, and then we're gonna put some of those in there too. And actually, let's add a little bit more white to that. I'm just gonna put some white on my brush and go back over it because if it's too dark, it's just gonna blend in with that other color that we had for the base of the body. So we gotta make it a little bit lighter. Okay. So we're just adding some of this color in there now. Pull some of those through here too. If it's, like I said, if it's not showing up good, then just add a little bit more white. Okay. So that is my tail. And now you can Give your brush a quick wipe off because we are going to do the same thing now black first then um white that i'm um, with a lighter gray for the hair that's blowing this way okay so we're going to start over here and this hair is blowing up It's just a windy day wherever this horse is.
anything to make it more full over here where you can barely see through. Same thing up here. Kind of filling that in. And then once we have a good amount of the black here, we are going to switch. Even though it's the same color, I am going to put some of these black lines across here. Across the eye a little bit. And we're going to have some going through here. I can't wait to see yours. See if you decided to just make it a horse or if you put the um, horn on it. Putting all these wavy lines. Right now I'm just using black. All right, and now I'm gonna put the, um, the lighter gray. I have to mix some more. So I'm just adding white and black, mixing it up until I get a light gray. And then we're just going to go back through here. We might have to add more white because we're going on top of um, this black that's still wet. some of those in here. And then take a step back from your painting every once in a while and just look at it and see where do you need more white to kind of accent the other color. Show that movement with the hair. I might put a few more my tail 
towards the top. Put one over the eye a little bit. I felt like my eye was too white. And go ahead and just play with it a little bit until you're happy with your horse because you can really keep adding and adding and adding more hair here. Um, I feel like mine is complete. So I'm going to call it quits for today.